You know, women are hugely underrepresented in the STEM fields. In my field of physical sciences, women are about 30%. The sad part of it is some of those numbers have actually been declining over the last few years. I would strongly argue if you're not utilizing the talent of all of your population, if you're actively discouraging people from going into fields that are going to help move this country forward, help us solve things like climate change, you're not doing a good job. And the fact is, girls, a lot of people of color don't feel welcome in the sciences. I've been in situations where I've went into meetings and people have actually thought that I was someone's assistant. And then it's pretty funny to 20 minutes later, it's like, oh, who are you? It's like, well, I actually lead the Google Lunar X Prize, which I do get a little bit of joy out of that. <laughs> My advice to girls is that you can be and do whatever you want. And there's so many different areas that you can work in around this. When I meet young girls, when I go into schools in cities, I say, you belong in the STEM fields. It's a good career. It pays good money. We need your talent. Don't you let anybody ever make you feel like you don't belong. To go into the science field, it's been mostly driven by my passion. Once I've opened the doors, though, and reached out to science communities, I've definitely had a lot of encouragement, especially as a young person. What I want to say to women who are thinking about science is that this is something they should definitely get into. The fate of planet Earth is in their hands and something that women can definitely make a huge impact in. We need all hands on deck, and that includes a large group of women.